Hey, peeps, and welcome back to another episode here on My Armor Does Not Like to Render at the beginning of these episodes. But yes, in the last episode, we kind of went crazy trying to tame a Noglin. We got all these Brontos, and it just didn't really work. So that's unfortunate. I'm going to go ahead and just put all these Brontos away because maybe... Maybe we'll find a use for them. I, I don't I don't think we will. Maybe I'll, I'll keep the high levels because you peeps were giving me very conflicting answers, telling me that it's the health that matters or it's the it's the stats that matter. Or, so, what the heck? Okay, just have a random main down here. All right, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and throw all the trash Brontos down here because if it is health or level, then these guys are just entirely useless. So. Yeah, so we only have two Brontos after this, and apparently also turtles are pretty good for it because turtles have high base health. But uh, yeah, I don't know, peeps. Noglin taming, I'm just not gonna mess with that today. Today, however, what we are doing is we're gonna try and get some void worms. We have a little bit of mutagen saved up. Yeah, we have eight, which is pretty nice, which should be enough for at least one void worm that's a high level and then what i'm gonna do peeps is i am just gonna tame one high level void worm and then we are going to clone that void worm uh i, I guess however many times we need to tame up a noglin and then if that doesn't work then i just do not care about noglins they're useless anyway and i'm really only trying to tame them just because they're a creature that's interesting to tame but uh yeah Let's go ahead and do some void worm taming today. I guess, first of all, I'm gonna need all of our muter gel. Thank you, Ex excuse me, there we go. And yeah, I guess I'll see you peeps in the space bomb. We're gonna go ahead and take our dolphin, which is somewhere, hello? Uh-oh, Slippy may have gone on an adventure, peeps. Oh, there he is. He tried to go on an adventure, why can't I boost forward? What? Oh, it's because I'm, I'm wearing flak mostly. All right, let's go ahead and get on Slippy. And you have element, right, Slippy? You should have almost a full stack. Yes, you do. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and fully equip our tech. And oh, I guess I should kind of clear my inventory. All right, we're going to do that first. And then, well, wait, well, I'm missing. Oh, yeah, because I, I mind wipe so we can make our stuff. All right, uh, what's this called? An Astro Delphus. Definitely not just called a space dolphin. There we go. All right, I will see you peeps in a bit. Actually, peeps, before we leave, I did just check Dodo decks to see how many mutagen we need, and uh, spoiler alert, <laughs> eight is not enough. So, dang it, we are not gonna be going out to space just yet. So, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait until it's a white drop day, and wait, actually, is that a white drop? Oh, it's a white drop day now. All right, cool, didn't mean to punch. Hate that about the tech gloves. All right, well, yeah, let's go ahead and go on out and use our striders to get a ton of muted gel and then we'll turn that into the muted gin. All right, I keep mixing up those words, muted gel, muted gin, and what? You could stand on this? It has no collision? Okay, that's weird. All right, I already have a teleporter for space, so yeah, I guess I'll bring you peeps back if we get attacked or if anything interesting happens. And oh, I brought Slippy. I guess that works out. All right, let's go ahead and get as much as we can. What time of day is it? Okay, I don't know why I checked the map for that. It is, okay, good, it's only one. So it won't be too terribly long for us to be out here, but it's also still a decent amount of time. All right, hopefully we get actually a lot of mutagel. And uh, we got none there, fun. And, all right, three, uh, okay. All right, mutagel, definitely not common, which is not good. Oh, there's eight, that's nice. Oh gosh. All right, and we get full of ambergris as well. Amber, or I guess I could just drop everything. Actually, you know what? You know what I can do? I can go on to the back here and have this set so it destroys ambergris. Yeah! Or maybe I can't? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe, am I, am I just spelling it wrong? Hold on, let's get some ambergris. There we go. Yeah, amber. I was trying to spell amber. All right, activate, destroy. Amber, oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Why? Why can't we do that? All right, do I have a, can I Can I maybe upload it to a dedicated storage? No, that's really annoying then. 
Oh, I'm gonna have to manually dump the inventory like every five seconds. Oh gosh. All right, hi, Mr. Voidworm. Oh, and it's a 350, why wouldn't it be? Uh, yeah, leave me alone. Away. Okay. Yeah, it works for me. I, I was gonna kill you, but he said, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't mess with this tech strider. All right, let's go ahead and drop all this amber. Wait, please do the thing. <sighs> so annoying. It's beyond annoying having to clear the inventory every like couple of seconds. All right, well, um, we know where a 350 void worm is now, which is nice. I think max level is 380. That or 360. I have, I, I truthfully, I have no idea. But uh, yeah, slowly but surely, we're we're getting some mutagel and mutagen and all that stuff. It broke it. Oh my gosh. Uh, all right, it's gonna be one of those days, peeps. It's gonna be one of those days. All right, I think. All right, well, first of all, I'm gonna go back to base, grab another dedicated storage intake thingy, and I that, I just don't know what I'm gonna do after that. I think maybe I'll just look up on YouTube like best ways to get mutagen because this way, well, uh, let's 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 go ahead and quickly check to see how much gel we got in that short amount of time that we were grinding. Um, 490, and it takes what 800, and we already had a decent amount. And of course, of course, of course. Oh wait, no, I was just hiding them, right? Yeah. And yeah, 800. Now, granted, I think that makes like four or three or something. So I just don't know, peeps. This is this is brutal. Oh my gosh. Alrighty, peeps. So from my very small amount of research, it seems that either a mantis with picks are the best, or an Anki. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually make the tech skiff. Yeah, there we go. And yeah, we could definitely make that. Oh, I didn't think it would just make. Um, <laughs> where to go? Uh oh. Uh oh. Um, I've never made the tech skiff before. Um. Oh, hi, Brontos. All right, that's. Uh oh. I uh, I found the skiff. Can I upload the skiff? Because if if not, then it's kind of screw. Oh god. <laughs> um. Can I cryopod it? I doubt I can cryopod it. Absolutely not. Uh. All right. Let's uh. Let's try and upload the skiff. Uh. No. Why would they make it so it auto? Dang it. Uh. Oh god. Yeah. I can't even move it. Yeah, well, it's also out of fuel. Um, dang it. Uh, can I disable it? Uh, nudge, I can nudge it. Oh God. Uh, I mean, okay, that did something, I guess. Nudge. Can I nudge it out of the building? I don't think so. <laughs> oh no. All right, I guess we got to demolish it and just make the tech replicator outside. That's. That's pretty no, and I don't get any resources back for that, dude. That's frustrating, honestly. All right, let's try this again. Tech skiff. There it is. Not in the house. Thank goodness. All right, so I guess we need to go grab some element as fuel real quick. All right, here we go. Two hundred element should be more. Why did it only take one hundred? Okay, that's weird. All right. Drive and I've, I've never act. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Oh, it's weird. Okay. And uh, wow, it, dude, it burns through fuel so fast. Uh, this is really cool though. It's fast. All right, how do we go down? C? It is C. Oh, oh, we use much less fuel while hovering. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, now if I if I right click, oh god, <laughs> I accidentally fell. Uh, can we pick something up? How do I hover? What a, oh okay, and oh okay, nope. Oh, I, I I don't know the controls for this. Right click. I I literally don't know what I'm doing to be honest, peeps. What is this sound? Why does it sound like things are being like collided with? 
Okay, that's very weird. Can I pick up this, uh... Can I pick up Zenith? Oh, I can pick up Zenith. Nice. And we could do stuff with him. This is very bizarre to me, peeps. Very, very bizarre. All right, um... How do I drop him? Oh, is that like a healing beam? This tech skiff is so weird, peeps. I think I understand. Let's go ahead and grab node. Oh, okay. Or... There we go. All right, we got node. And now let's try and head on over to some metal. Oh, how do I move him? Oh, gosh. This is... This is weird. Why is it turning? Why is he over there? How does any of this work? Uh, oh God. All right, didn't mean to drop him. Uh, grab. And uh, we're healing him, I guess. This is so weird, peeps. This is so weird. I can, okay, nope, didn't mean to drop him again. Uh, he's gathering, but will he gather while he's being held? It doesn't look like it. So what's the point of the tech skiff? Okay. Um, you know what, peeps? I am just not going to use the tech skiff because th this is just weird. I don't, I feel like I'd be more effective with just flying the Anki around in space. Oh yeah, this is way better than the Strider. Look at that. We already have 11. That would have been like what the Strider got from this whole ast- Oh no, we've landed. You definitely want to stay in the air though. The Anki is- much faster at flying than it is walking and there we go all right yeah this works out pretty well uh yeah weight is a bit of an issue but we could just do a bit of that and i guess i don't mind having to drop the inventory every now and then if we're getting a decent amount man this is still so little though we have to get 800 and it's 800 for six so it, it does convert into six mutagel or uh, mutagen per 800 mutagel which is a better conversion rate but that's that's still so much and we need like at least 20 for a level 300 so i don't know peeps this is this is quite the grind but i guess we got to do it there's no better way i guess unfortunately and that's that for today unfortunately i'm so mad because up here had so many nodes and i was farming down there for like most of the time and i was like let me come up here and it was so much all right but we did get a decent amount peeps we got uh, okay what what why why would you drop all right i guess we got to do it the slow way yeah but we got over 500 mutagel which is nice uh it's not 800 but combining this with what we have at home will push us over the 800 limit which is super nice so we'll be able to craft some and then i think i'm gonna head into the innards with my tech suit and grab as much gel in there as possible and i think i'm also gonna go ahead and bring a mining drill to try and see if we can get a bunch of meter gel from the under the heart area from when the acid retracts because i've heard that the mining drill is pretty good down there all right give me all the things and let's head on back to base all right, peeps, here we go. Uh, give, give. Oh, actually, we might have enough for two crafts. Uh, maybe. I don't think so, actually. But uh, we do have a bunch now, and here we go. All right, one. Yeah, not, nowhere near enough for two, but A, we now have a total of 14. Still not enough to tame a void worm. Dang it. I I don't know, peeps. I think, I think we're going to skip out on Noglin taming because... Oh, no, no, I, no, I forgot I can clone. So, yeah, if we get one Void Worm, we can just clone that in a bunch and use that. And where, how do I, oh, consolidate. There we go. And also consolidate. Oh, I have to actually manually deposit this because it's in my inventory. There we go. All right, cool. Now I'm going to head on over to the innards and grab as many meter gel things as I can. There. Oh, wait, ah, I forgot to grab a mining drill first. All right, I'm going to grab a mining drill and come back. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at this conga line of, uh, what are these things called again? Summoners. I kept calling them Seekers in the last Genesis episode. I wonder if that upset anyone, but, uh, literally a conga line. They're having a convoy, peeps. But, uh, yeah, I am pretty upset, honestly, with the amount of mutagen in here. There was only one. We got one mutagen, and apparently there's another one now that we're over here because our thing came back. Is it under the 
the uh, acid here. Oh, the acid's gone. Okay, cool. Let's kill the tentacles that I'd like to appear here real quick. One, two, three. Any more? Yep. And four. Okay, let's get out the mining drill and see how much we get. Unfortunately, ah, oh, gosh. What? No, oh, it's that guy. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And boop. Uh, are there reapers down here? Because I, I left two queens just chilling down here. I don't think they're still here, though, which is good. All right, let's see how much we get. Yep, and four. Oh, there we go. Oh, I had I had my other shift down, so it was automatically trying to sprint. Oh, this is... Oh, God. All right, well, it was fun while it lasted, I guess. Nope. Yeah, you missed, nerd. All right, go away. These tentacles are so annoying. Okay, uh, that's really weird how the acid starts burning you even though the water's not there yet. And it's probably there now. Yeah, now it's here. Um, I wonder, like, how low can we go? If I could still reach it, that'd be great. And... Oh, we're, like, right above it now. Hey! Okay! Oh, this works wonderfully. And I mean it's it's a decent amount of, oh god oh god oh god okay no it still it still rises. Alright, well uh that that's not bad. That's a decent amount of mutagen or uh mutagel. Alright, the acid has gone away, so I think we are good to maybe get the rest of these. And uh, there we go. We gotta be fast, because I don't I don't know how how quickly the acid comes back. I know it's it's never a way for lo oh my gosh, that was so many. And as now, now the question is, how long does it take for these things to respawn? Because if it's not too terribly long, this would be a pretty good farming method. I guess we'll have to see once we grab them all how, how long it takes for them to come back. All right, there we go. And, oh, dude, yeah, this is actually great. Now, I wonder if it'd be good to bring the Strider down here. Because down here with the Strider could be pretty powerful. Because, you know, the Strider is basically a giant... Oh, God. Oh, we got to make sure that doesn't get us. Because I actually can't kill that with guns. The little the little macrophage thing. So, if that if that gets us and the, and the acid comes, then we're basically screwed. Okay. All right. Let's run over here so the macrophage isn't attracted to us. All right. That was a decent amount. Uh, yeah. Wow. Okay. That was actually a lot. All right, so if this respawns frequently, then I think this is going to be our main way of getting mutagel. I really don't like that the that uh that these guys are here, the the macrophage, especially now that they're down there. What what? There we go. Yeah, especially now that they're down here, I can't kill them, so they're just they're going to murder us if we get slowed by them. All right, there we go. All the tentacles today and meatball of doom. Oh, and we're out of fuel. All right, let's go ahead and just teleport on home. We got a ton of meter gel doing that. Oh my gosh. Let's see, how, how much did we get? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a lot. Um, Wow, that is by far the most effective. Now, I'm pretty sure that has something to do with the fact that I also have, where is it? Yeah. The natural resource regen faster thing is active so that definitely help with them coming back every cycle but uh yeah that that was kind of insane how many we can make two whole batches 12 peeps 12 so in one journey we got 13 including that one that we picked up oh my gosh all right i uh I think we can tame a void worm now, peeps. I think, I hope. Let me let me go see how much, because I don't remember how much we have currently. And yep, there we go. We've almost doubled our mutagel is what I'm trying to say. Why can't I withdraw these? Okay. Oh, wait, what? Okay, yep, 27. That is actually enough to do the boss fight, peeps. So theoretically, right, I could just train up our shadow main pack and we could go beat the boss like right now, but I won't do that. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and, and all right. So I watched a new blitz video on how to tame a void worm and he highly recommended getting uh, or using a riot shield. So we're going to have our riot shield equipped just in case. All right. So void worm taming, as I understand it, is pretty simple. Basically, all you have to do 
is you shoot it until it's at about 10% health. It'll have blue jets out of its engines. And from there, you just kind of, uh, you mount it. And then it's basically an Equus at that point. So it sounds easy, but we'll, we'll, we, let's just see if it's easy in actual practice. Uh, oh, wow. Dude, I love when the Astro Seeds have, have orange colors. Like, they look like they're on fire. It's so cool to me. All right. This is a little unfortunate because I'm not exactly sure how high up this... Oh, is this you? That's him. Yes. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and keep our spike. Oh, he sees me. All right. And wow, you have some damage resistances, boy. All right. Leave me alone. Ah! No. All right. It might actually be better to use... Our, our tech rifle for this actually instead of the instead of the bow wow you're fast oh okay that looks strange go there we go yeah so the tech rifle is probably oh he unaggroed for some reason hey get back here oh that's a long neck rifle <laughs> my bad hey sir i can't okay i guess we'll use both we'll use this when he gets far away and then we'll switch to the tech rifle when he gets close or we'll just miss or miss again. Uh, okay, these should not be missing, sir. What? 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 Get over here. All right. Aggro onto me, please. Pew. Oh my. There we go. All right. Uh, let's make sure not to kill it. All right. That's some good damage so far. Speaking of good damage, he's got great stats. All right. Uh, oh, he's staying still. He's still. Oh. Oh yeah. I forgot the tech rifle has a scope. You're, uh, you're being kind of annoying with how you're flying away. Could you not do that? There we go. All right, let's do that. Shove a load of these in his face. Now, we got to be careful not to actually kill it. Thankfully, it does have some... Oh, stop. Why do you keep on aggroing? Why do you un-aggro when I want you to fight? Oh, dude, I thought that tech bullet was going to hit him. All right, I feel like every time... All right, here he comes again. All right, and... There we go. Why? They're so quick. All right. Luckily, they stand still for that attack. Oh, no. Oh, that might kill him. Ew. Oh, very close. All right. But yeah, he did the roar, and now his, his jets are coming out. Okay. Uh, block. Oh. And mount. Yes. Okay. E during barrel roll. Okay. Let's look for the barrel roll. And E during barrel roll. Oh god, I hit E for no reason. No, come back. I thought he rolled. Nope. Oh, this is gonna be a little awkward. Oh, ow. Oh, that hurts. That hurts when he bites. Uh, I do have med bruise though. There we go. All right. And I guess we just, oh, mutagen. We did it. And that gave him 11%. Yeah, I'm glad I went and got more. Okay. All right. Nice. So this is only gonna take about 10. Amazing. This is really cool. It's a lot easier than an Equus because it seems to be a lot more common, the rolling. And it's much easier to see when you have to... Oh, okay. He kicked us off. I... Oh, okay. I have a shield. Let's use it. Oh, don't hit me. Oh, okay. That was Galaxy Brain. Okay. I think he has to finish using his breath for him to start rolling. Yeah, he probably has to finish his long breath attack. Oh, my gosh. All right. Mutagen. I wonder why we got kicked off. We're at 66% though. We're gonna get 173 bonus levels. All right, a few more. This is like a really cool looking void worm also. Mutagen and... Oh, oh, oh gosh, I saw the, the spoiled meat cook and the screen changed so I immediately was like, it's time! All right, come on, come on. Oh, don't hit me with that. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, oh, what happened? Oh, that was confusing. I have no idea what just happened. All right, um, hey, I need to get on you, please. There we go. All right, drink some of these. Okay, pay attention to when he barrel rolls. Uh, let's eat some food. Mutagen? Okay, we got it. One more, one more. Come on, roll for me. I know you want to. Yes! Whoever designed Woo! these high roguelike centuries must have been into 20th century high fantasy epics. Yes. They feel like something from those old dragon and wizard adventures. The crew manuals even call them void worms. Exactly what a fan of that genre would want guarding all of Earth's riches. Heck yeah. I mean, plus wyverns already exist. But did they... You think the inhabitants of the Ark knew that wyvern? Uh, yeah, that wyverns were on the Ark? 
I guess wyverns only canonically exist on Scorched, right? And those only came to be when the uh, when the overseer created them. So I guess this is just coincidental, maybe. Oh, but the void worm looks really cool. All right, let's go ahead and fly him down here, and then we'll check his stats. Alrighty, peeps. So as far as I can tell, aside from it looking different and having this. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. So it actually depends on how long you hold it. That's actually really good then. All right, yeah, we definitely have to test out how good that breath attack is. All right, but here we go. How, oh, oh, that's my riot shield. Let's go ahead and get Terry back on. There we go. All right, 454. How are your stats? 82 health, 81 melee, 81 weight, and nice amount of stamina, as well as 80 food. Amazing. All right, peeps, that is a good void worm. Uh, which your base health is 16k. I don't know how good that is in comparison to our Brontos. How do we already have eight low? Oh, it's because the Explorer note. I, uh, I guess let's get this to probably 30k and then we'll focus on melee. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's go test out its breath attack. I want to see how much damage that does. It's very loud. You peeps hear this? This is a very loud creature. All right, let's go find an Astrocetus or an Astrodelphus to test our breath attack on. All right, this dolphin will be our test subject. Here we go. And, oh wow, really? What, where'd it go? What, where'd it go? Did I have a blast out of existence? We were not doing a lot of damage with that breath attack. Let's, uh, let's try it on this Delphus. And there we go. And, oh, it like pushes them away. Okay. Honestly, a little disappointing. All right, but uh, I guess this is, it's more of a utility breath, right? Cause I know it damages tech and it can stun things. So I guess it's not pure damage, which is basically useless for us here on single player. So I think, yeah, the only real purpose of the Void Worm is to use to just tame Noglins with, potentially. All right, well, I uh, I guess we'll, we'll go ahead and bring everyone home. And, oh, that's the transmitter, not the teleporter. Here we go. All right, let's, oh, let's make sure the Void Worm is actually in the range. There we go. All right, time to go home. All right, Void Worm is home. Now we just got to build the cloning chamber. Now I've never used the cloning chamber, so I, I have no idea how this is going to operate. Uh, it's quite expensive, but it's not the worst thing, I guess. I right, definitely want to make sure I'm making the right thing. Let's go ahead and put away the riot shield while that crafts. Unfortunately, I think our Void Worm is set to follow us, so let's let's go ahead and make him land. Come here, Void Worm. Yep. And will you sort yourself out? Yes, you will, maybe. Yeah, that's good enough. All right, let's grab the cloning chamber. Do I need to put it on a surface? Oh, scroll. Uh, just get rid of that and scroll back up. There we go. Uh oh, okay, it's huge. And, oh, oh, it's not that big. Uh, we do need to place it on an actual floor though, because of course, there we go, much better. And it actually doesn't look awful over here. How nice. All right, clone dino. Annie, no, don't want to. Oh my, six hundred thousand shards. Huh. Wait, I want. How much would it take to clone Zenith? Because Zenith is heavily mutated and leveled. Uh, uh hopefully this isn't insane. Because, excuse me, because I was thinking we could maybe use the cloning chamber instead of breeding a bunch of creatures up. But if this is gonna be this expensive, then oh my goodness. All right, all right, clone. And what? <laughs> Where's the logic, Ark? Is it based on like the, like drag weight? Because you know, the Dinotherium is a lot bigger in terms of drag weight than a, than a Shadow Mane, but <laughs> I feel like, I feel like that needs some serious looking at. Oh my goodness. All right, but let's get our Void Worm and try to see what he needs. Hopefully he doesn't need so much. I feel like a Void Worm is a high drag weight creature, so it, it might, all right, I, I don't. I wish they 
put more effort into these new creature models. Like this, it, it has the same sounds as a wyvern, except for its flight. And the tropio is also a big example, where the tropio is literally just a tapajara that's been retextured, at least with its sounds and, and stuff like that. All right, void worm, here you go. How expensive is that gonna be? All right, thankfully it's not as, ex it's actually the cheapest one here, nice. Okay, 25,000 shards. All right, shards are in. Clone the Void Worm. Oh my gosh, all right, move, move this one. I wanna see what this looks like. Uh, I wonder how long does this take? I thought it would be an instantaneous, oh, 40 minutes? Ah, oh! all right, I, um, <laughs> that's a long time. All right, you know what? I'm gonna go eat lunch. And I'll bring your beams back once we have uh, an extra void worm. And the cloning process has been completed. We have our, I guess, pure copy of a void worm here. That's so interesting. And that, it, it pooped twice. Okay. But uh, yeah, I guess now that we have a void worm, we can go ahead and slap them both in the propagator and just convert one of them into a female and do some void worm breeding. All right, cool. In the next episode, we'll take one of these void worms down to the Noglin that, uh, dude, also, by the way, that Noglin despawned. As like the final screw you, that max level Noglin is just gone. I went to go look in the, uh, well, there's just no Noglins actually. Cool, that's, that's fun. So, uh, yeah, Ark really doesn't want me taming a Noglin, it seems. But yes, peeps, I am going to go ahead and end this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.